Okay, Assalamualaikum semua um, Today we continue with chapter 4 Which is the inferences about a mean vector uh, Dalam your textbook It is uh, in chapter 5, page 210 But in our syllabus It is uh, in chapter 4 The inferences about a mean vector Okay um, Actually, usually you have um, you already know about the uh, inferences about a mean vector ni actually dalam maybe in your um, step method subject but uh, before this you deal with only univariate okay so in this uh, chapter we will deal we can see how to conduct the test of a mean uh, when the variables involve one uh, involve more than one variables which is the multivariate okay so what is the inference actually inference is the reaching the valid conclusion concerning a population on the basis of information from a sample okay so you already know what is the inference that you have learned before this okay we will use uh, we will use sample to make the conclusion about the population. Okay. Okay, so this is the four topic that we will cover in this chapter. But today I will focus on 4.1 and 4.2. Okay, so we start with uh, 4.1. Uh, uh, subtopic which is the pl the plausibility of mu naught ataupun mean as a value for a normal population okay in your textbook it is on page 210 so uh, for this uh, subtopic 4.1 ni i will recall balik i will uh, explain a little bit about the testing of the mean uh, value for univariate Okay, this topic that you have learned before this in step method. Okay, so we know that we can, you know that we can uh, test the value of mean using the uh, testing, uh, using the t statistic and compare with the t table. Okay, before this. Okay, when we are testing something, uh, we are, when we are testing the uh, parameter which is the population here our parameter adalah mean ok we want to test whether the mu naught is a plausible value for the population mean ok value mu naught is a plausible value for the population mean mu we want to know whether the value of mu naught uh, adalah plausible which is uh, logic ataupun boleh digunakan to, uh, to 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 express the value of population mean mu ok so to conduct this test we will use two tail test which is the hypothesis will be mu h0 mu equal to mu0 and h1 mu0 equal to mu0 so now we want to know whether the value of mu0 ni Plausible ke tidak when we are uh, for the population mu. Okay, so that is the hypothesis. The test statistic, okay, this test statistic that you have uh, already familiar, which is x bar minus mu naught minus s divided by square root of n. X bar adalah uh, sample mean. Mu naught adalah this uh, the value that we want to test. And S adalah sample variance. And uh, N adalah sample size. So, this formula, you, you are familiar before this. Okay. So, um, for this, uh, for this uh, test, we testing for the univariate. Okay, and then we have the hypothesis testing, we have the test statistic, and the decision rule will be reject hash naught when the absolute value of 
t tadi test statistik is more than the value of a t table okay which is the t n minus 1 alpha over 2 so uh, if t statistic the absolute value of t statistic more than the value of t table so hash not will be rejected bila hash not is rejected we can say that we can conclude that mu not tadi is a when hash not is rejected mu not is not a plausible value when hash not is not rejected so maksudnya hash not is acceptable we conclude that mu not is a plausible value for the normal population mean mu okay this is the concept when we are uh, testing whether the mu not ataupun the value of mu is a plausible for the population mean okay and okay another method to see whether uh, hash not is rejected or not is using the confidence interval okay we are using the confidence interval for mean to see whether uh, uh, we are we will reject hash not which is the mu equal to mu not tadi is rejected or, or not using the confidence interval okay remember this formula of confidence interval which is x bar plus minus t and minus 1 alpha over 2 multiply the standard deviation for x bar which is s divided by square root of n so how to conclude that uh, hash not is rejected or not using the confidence interval remember when 0 is includes in the interval then hash not will be uh, accepted ataupun hash not will be not rejected okay when 0 is not includes in the interval hash not will be rejected so uh, using the concept of that you can conclude we can conclude whether hash not uh, will be rejected or not so we we uh, we have two methods lah whether we want to know whether mu is a uh, uh, any possible uh, value for the population mean or not using the testing hypothesis testing and then another one we can also using the confidence interval okay itu adalah konsep untuk univariate Okay, so untuk um, when we are dealing with the multivariate, nak check benda yang sama, which is want, you want to see whether the value of mean is uh, the plausible value for the mean of the multivariate normal population or not. We are using the hotelling t square dan juga likelihood ratio test. Ada dua cara, tapi gunakan konsep yang sama. Okay, in your textbook, ada uh, detail formula dan juga example dekat page 212 and also 213. Okay, so kita tengok uh, kalau kita deal dengan multivariate. Multivariable. Okay, so uh, a P by 1 vector mu naught is a plausible value for the mean of a multivariate normal population using the hypothesis testing um, ok so mu not vector eh? vector mu not kalau kita deal dengan multivariate uh, kalau dia bold tu adalah ve uh, vector ok so a hash not will be mu equal to mu not ok which is the vector min equal to vector mu not Unit will be the value lah. H1 uh, vector mu not equal to vector mu not. This is also the two-tail test. Okay. So, mu dan mu not tu adalah vector. Which is the dimension will be P by 1. Right? Okay. The test statistic dipanggil square of the test statistic Okay, uh, kita this this formula, okay this formula, okay kita gunakan konsep this formula untuk univariate. Eh? Kita akan gunakan uh, konsep of univariate 
to 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 create the concept of uh, the formula of t square dipanggil hotel in t square when we are dealing with the multivariate okay so tengok dulu yang univariate ni okay this one t square okay uh, tadi i lupa nak cerita uh, kalau univariate tadi kita gunakan t kan dia punya test statistik adalah t which is x bar minus mu naught divide dengan s over square root of n kan and then kita compare uh, t statistik dengan nilai value t table right okay so another method juga kita boleh gunakan value of t square dia equivalent t square kita compare dengan f distribution ingat tak apa yang you belajar sebelum ni okay so t square adalah x bar minus mu square sebab t tadi kan t value t kita square kan dia so x bar minus mu not square divide s square over n sebelum ni kalau t x bar minus mu over s divide square root of n so t square will be x bar minus mu not square over s square divide n ok so daripada sini ok this part ok it, it is equivalent with this part betul tak ok so kalau yang ni kan s square over n tadi kalau kita darab dia akan jadi darab n over s square betul tak n over s square so n kat depan ni divide dengan s square bila kita nak bawa naik atas dia akan jadi s square power of negative 1 x bar minus mu square so satu di sini x bar minus mu satu di sini x bar minus mu so this term and this term equivalent kita akan gunakan this term untuk create the multivariate and log this here tapi untuk multivariate kita akan gunakan vector dan matrix lah yang bold bold tu kan ha. so daripada sini kita create this multivariate uh, dipanggil hoteling t square you kena hafal this test statistic n adalah sample size x bar adalah uh, mean vector sample mean vector mu naught adalah value ni tadi vector of mu naught ok kat sini transpose ok multiply uh, s inverse which is the variance covariance sample variance covariance metric inverse x bar minus mu naught ok so here will be x bar will be p by 1 mu naught will be p by 1 so transpose so this term dia punya dimension will be 1 by p s inverse p by p x bar minus mu adalah p by 1 so this term you akan dapat satu value 1 by 1, by 1 lah ok alright so di sini pula adalah formula untuk dapatkan x bar which is the mean vector ok Uh, ada dua formula sama ada you gunakan this formula ataupun you guna cara biasa macam sebelum ni lah macam mana nak cari x bar you just apa ni dapatkan min untuk variable x1 dapatkan min untuk x variable x2 dan susun dalam bentuk min vector ataupun boleh gunakan juga this formula ok ok formulanya uh, ok kalau yang tu Okay, kalau kita tengok sini eh. so x bar adalah p by 1 macam mana kita gunakan this formula untuk dapatkan x bar 1 over n x transpose x adalah kan you susunkan n uh, uh, sorry uh, x uh, matrix will be p by n right dia akan susun dalam bentuk kolom so dia akan jadi p by n eh, sorry n by p tapi kat sini x transpose dia akan jadi P by N Multiply by matrix of 1 Matrix of 1 ni adalah N by 1 N by 1 So maksudnya ianya adalah Vector N by 1 Bukan P by 1 eh N by 1 So vector 1 ni maksudnya dia punya all the element will be 1 Which is uh, the dimension will be N by 1 Okay bila you multiply this matrix So you akan dapat P by 1 lah Okey untuk untuk x bar. So ada dua cara lah sama ada gunakan cara biasa you dapatkan min for every variable 
dan susun dalam bentuk uh, min vector ataupun gunakan this formula. Okey. Yang kedua adalah uh, macam mana cara you nak dapatkan uh, variance covariance matrix. Okey, variance covariance variance matrix ada dua method jugalah Mas, uh, macam sebelum ni pun you boleh gunakan kalau macam sebelum ni kan dalam bentuk matrix tu uh, dia punya all the diagonal will be the min untuk uh, sorry min pula apa ni variance for every uh, variable ok so macam mana you dapat macam mana cara you nak dapatkan min uh, sorry yeah, variance for every variable tu that you have learned before this cumanya dalam chapter 1 dulu sn kan sn so dia bahagi dengan n yang you kira tu dia uh, summation of xi minus x bar square tu divide dengan n but now uh, you uh, you kena bahagi dengan n minus 1 ok remember you kena nak cari variance covariance variance matrix for uh, sample you kena divide dengan n minus 1 so ada dua cara macam sebelum ni uh, pemboleh ataupun gunakan this uh, method pemboleh gunakan matrix so kalau kat sini Tengok, X ni adalah matrix of X. Disusunkan matrix tu kan, so akan dia akan jadi n by p, right? Minus dengan matrix of one n by one dan matrix uh, ataupun min vector transpose, so it will be one by p. Min vector sebenarnya p by one, tapi dia ada transpose kat sini kat sini sebab tu akan jadi 1 by P ok, multiply dengan uh, and then kena ada transpose kat sini transpose ok, multiply dengan X, matrix X which is N by P, dia punya dimension minus matrix 1 multiply min vector transpose so you akan dapat using this matrix, you akan dapat variance covariance untuk uh, variance covariance metric. You will use this untuk cari value of t square nanti. You nak replace here kan? You nak cari the inverse of the variance covariance matrix. Okay. So, kalau uh, dua variable senanglah you boleh gunakan um, boleh buat manually lah kan? Nak, nak cari variance covariance metric macam you dah buat sebelum ni. Okay, so that is the formula to get the hoteling t-square. So, uh, also, you need to know the distribution untuk t-square ni. The distribution untuk t-square actually adalah f distribution, which is yang kita nak compare whether kita nak reject hash naught ataupun nak accept hash naught, kita akan compare dengan f distribution. So, the distribution of t-square will be this one, nilai C square ni adalah distribution untuk uh, T square sebab tu kita compare kan T square dengan C square so kalau you nak tahu distribution untuk C square, you need to use this formula, N minus 1, N adalah sample size divide dengan N minus P P adalah how many uh, apa ni, number of variable involved multiply by P, and then multiply dengan value from f table ok, statistical value from s table f, p, n minus p value of alpha so, if uh, the hoteling t square more than the value of c square the hash naught will be rejected bila hash naught rejected, apa you nak conclude? bila hash naught is rejected, we say that uh, the the mean vector ataupun the vector of mu naught is not plausible value for the mean ok, kalau hash naught is rejected ok, vector mu naught is not a plausible value for the mean of multivariate normal population but if hash naught is accepted so we can say that the vector of mu naught ni adalah plausible value, the logic lah that value is plausible for the mean of a multivariate normal population ok 
okay uh, we can see the example okay actually example ni dalam your textbook eh? page 213 example 5.1 okay let's say here uh, it in the data involve of two variables this one variable x1 dan variable x2 dia punya ni ini adalah dia punya observation kan alright so first of all evaluate the t square for mu not 9 uh, mu not transpose 9 and 5 so sekarang ni actually uh, dia punya mu not ni actually yang ini yang kita nak test kita nak test whether betul tak uh, the mean vector 9 and 5 ni plausible logic ke tidak untuk kita nak uh, apa untuk kita nak uh, represent the value of mean of the multivariate tadi mean vector for the multivariate of a normal population so sekarang untuk jawab soalan A evaluate the t-square so just use the formula tadi this formula right this formula so in order to find this formula uh, in order to use this formula we need we need the value of x bar we need the value of s kena cari s inverse and then barulah you, you apply the formula ok how to get 8 here how to get 6 here untuk dapatkan 8 you just uh, dapatkan min for the first column here first column here dapatkan min you akan dapat 8 and uh, the min for the second column here you akan dapat 6 sesusun dalam bentuk uh, vector kan x bar adalah min vector ok so macam mana pula nak dapatkan uh, value variance covariance matrix you have learned before this 4 ni adalah variance untuk x1 9 adalah variance untuk x2 ok the first column and second column and negative 3 ni adalah variance covariance ok remember to calculate this value of s ataupun variance covariance matrix you kena bahagi dengan n minus 1 ok bila dah ada value s you boleh cari inverse of s and then um, apply the formula last kali you akan dapat 7 over 9 the value of t square so dia kata kat sini state the uh, soalan B state the sampling distribution of t square state the sampling distribution of t square kenapa kita kena tahu distribution of t square because of we want we want to compare the t square with its distribution sebab you nak tahu kita nak, tahu kita nak reject hash naught ataupun nak accept hash naught tadi sebab tu kita kena cari distribution untuk t square which is the f distribution so gunakan value of c square tadi so n ada 3 tadi ok we have 3 observation so n is 3 ok p is 2 so it will be uh, the f distribution f 2 3 minus 2 and alpha so we can say that t square have the distribution of 4 multiply f distribution with a degree of freedom of 2 and 1 so if we want to test whether the the mean value of 9 and 5 tadi ni adalah plausible or not to the mean population for the multivariate so we can compare the value of t square here with the value of c square kat sini so kena cari dulu uh, nilai f21 dalam table if t square more than this value so we can reject hash not if t square less than this value we will conclude that the mean vector tadi 9 and 5 is uh, plausible value for the mean population of multivariate normal ok ok another example from your textbook juga example 5.2 page 214 ok this one is about the 20 healthy females 3 component here 
uh, x1, x2 and x3 were measured and the result are shown below. Okay, dia dah bagi result here. X bar, S dan juga S inverse. Sebab dia tak bagi the full uh, data kat sini. Sebenarnya dalam your textbook ada full data dia. Um, dekat page 215, table 5.1, swag data. Okay, ada 20 observation. Dia ada value X1, column X1, ada column X2 and column X3. Nanti you boleh check the value of X bar dia betul tak? Here, the value of X1 bar, X2 bar and X3 bar. And also the value of um, variance, covariance matrix. Biasanya kalau data banyak dan juga variable more than 2, so, usually the value of variance covariance, matrix of variance covariance will be given. Okay. So, we see here. Soalannya adalah test the hypothesis of mean vector uh, is 4, 50, 10 or not. Okay. Kita nak tahu whether value of mean vector 4, 50, 10 is ni adalah plausible value for the mean uh, multivariate population, normal population or not, at level significance of 0 0.01 ok so first of all, kena ada dulu hypothesis testing, hash not and hash one ok sama ada you nak buat dalam bentuk kat sini buat mu transpose kalau you nak buat mu saja pun boleh, tapi dalam bentuk vector lah dia akan jadi 3 by 1. Kat sini 1 by 3 kan sebab dia transpose kan mu. Okay. So, uh, terus cari value of hotel link t square using the formula tadi. Kan n multiply x bar minus mu naught multiply inverse of s multiply x bar minus mu naught. Okay, nanti you try check betul tak jawapannya will be 9.74 you double check eh? ok so to to see whether hash net is rejected or not this value of 9.74 should be compared with the distribution of t square which is c square so cari nilai c square 20 minus 1, 20 because of uh, number of observation is 20. 3 here because of number of variable is 3, x1, x2, x3. So, dekat sini dia punya um, degree of freedom for f will be 3 and 17 for the value of alpha 0 0.01. And you cuba check the value of uh, f table. Betul tak? It is 17.0665. Okay, so if you can see here, the value of t square 9.74 is less than the value of 17.0665. So, we fail to reject hash naught. Bila fail reject hash naught, maksudnya kita accept hash naught. Kita, bila kita accept hash naught, means that mu transpose ni adalah plausible value. 4, 50 and 10 adalah plausible value for main population of multivariate normal ok that is the way how you um, uh, conclude make the conclusion about the um, hypothesis testing of the main vector ok ok another method uh, is likelihood ratio test so the function of this method uh, is equal actually with the hoteling t square test which is we want to know whether the uh, vector mu ataupun vector mu naught uh, is a plausible value uh, for the mean of the multivariate population ok so, uh, we have the hypothesis hash naught min vector mu equal to min vector mu naught against hash 1 min vector mu not equal to min vector mu naught. 
and then we will reject hash not if if the big lambda here is the big lambda uh, which is the absolute value of the uh, big sigma hat over absolute value of big sigma hat not power of n over 2 which is we can calculate this uh, big lambda using the matrix notation also which is the uh, absolute value of uh, big lambda hat tadi we can calculate using the matrix notation vector x minus matrix 1 multiply vector x bar transpose multiply vector x minus matrix 1 multiply main vector x bar Okay, itu adalah uh, how to get the um, uh, big sigma hat. Okay, and then big sigma hat not will be x min vector, uh, sorry, uh, vector x minus matrix 1 multiply main vector mu not transpose and then multiply with x minus 1 mu naught. All of that will be in the absolute value and power of n over 2. <coughs> and then if uh, the value of big lambda here less than the value of c, then we will reject hash naught. Means that, bila kita reject hash naught, means that the mu naught, the uh, vector of mu naught here, is uh, not a plausible value for the mean multivariate population. Okay, sama uh, like the hotelling t square test. Cuma kat sini untuk likelihood ratio test, we will use the ratio of big sigma hat and big sigma hat not. But usually uh, to to test whether the value of the mu not is the is a plausible value for the mean of the multivariate normal population. Biasanya, we will use the hoteling t-square. But is it, this is the concept untuk likelihood ratio test. Okay. And then, what is the weak lambda? So, weak lambda actually adalah uh, big lambda power of 2 over n. So, it will be the big sigma hat Absolute value of big sigma hat divide absolute value of big sigma hat not. So actually, dia daripada sini lah. Okay, daripada sini, big sigma equal to this. This is the the the, the formula actually. Okay, uh, sorry. So actually, sebenarnya, to, to come up with the this test statistic, uh, it comes from the weak lambda, which is the big sigma, sorry, big lambda power of 2 over n equal to this term. So, kita tukar ke dalam bentuk uh, big lambda sahaja, which is the test statistic, test statistic for the likelihood ratio test. So, macam mana actually dia dapat big uh, lambda tu? So, actually this one lah. Daripada big lambda, kan? N over 2. So, bila kita nak hapuskan dia kat sini. So, kita kena darab dengan kat sini hapuskan dia. So, akan jadi 2 over N. So, sebelah sini pun kena multiply dengan the index of 2 over N. So, last sekali you akan dapat this. This is the weak lambda tadi. Okay. And another theorem adalah uh, sebenarnya from the weak lambda kita boleh tukar ke dalam bentuk t square so we so we have another formula to find the t square using the weak lambda formula this one okey ni adalah weak lambda weak lambda so actually ianya juga adalah this term so, bila kita manipulate the formula, last kali you akan dapat nilai T square 
this formula uh, the, the the formula for t square is this one okay the details of the formula will be like this all right this is the formula tadi which is the here weak lambda tadi kan weak lambda okay weak lambda equal to this term and when we manipulate the formula <coughs> which is uh, this part samakan penyebut okay you akan dapat this one all right and then sini inverse sini inverse so kita nak hilangkan inverse tadi tu sebelah sini buat akan bertukar kan okay. dia akan jadi tadi big sigma over big sigma not so here akan jadi big sigma not over big sigma because of here kita tukar kat sini dah tak ada dah power of negative 1 so last kali akan dapat t square so we also we use this formula of t square and then comparekan dengan value of c square dan gunakan konsep yang sama uh, bila you nak reject hash not gunakan konsep sama dalam uh, t square hotel link sebelum ni ok alright that's all untuk um, untuk likelihood pressure test